we got we got two different things going on here. Danny's running those drills with um, Henry, and like right now she's rewarding him for staying in a seated position because he historically likes to lay down. Um, and plop to her down, so she's like telling him, "Hey, I like that you're staying in a seated position." You now she's releasing him in the break. Anyway, she's running through drills. She's gonna probably call him here. Break. Go, go get it. Henry, here. There we go. Sit. Working that recall. So Henry is in a mindset this morning for training. She's working out really good. As you see, but James is not at all. Couldn't get him to run any drills this morning. He's not hungry, he's distracted. Here's my message though, guys, is that training is life. So it's like, okay, James, you don't have to run drills. If you're not interested in food right now and you don't feel like it, that's fine. But here, training is life. So what we are working on is you have to stay near me in a calm position, be relaxed at my heel, and you have to watch Henry do his work. Helping the dogs to understand that now is not the time to romp and wrestle and play and be goofballs. And so even though James is not running drills with Henry, he is training in a completely different capacity. And so it all matters, guys. It all matters. And whether you're running drills or whether you're doing some more passive indirect training it all adds up i just noticed you still have your slippers on <laughs> i just noticed that <laughs> nope okay so see he wants to go over there with henry and i'll pull him over and go hey this is not the time to play right now so that's what's going on this morning